Good morning everyone and uh, happy Thursdays and welcome to a brand new vlog and have a guess what we've been called into the marina well we had a phone call from the marina and now um, the boat's going in to have its inverter done today I'm just waving at Ben she's gonna interfere now watch what the bridge I'll tell you. Anyway, yes, we're going we're going to take Hannah into the tunnel. Bye. It's alright, what are you doing Lee? Okay. Hex is barking because we've got the engine started. Right, we're going to sail down. Bye. No, what's up? <laughs> Whoever goes which way you want to steer her, let me tell you, she goes wherever she bloody likes. There we are then. It's a rather pleasant morning, I have to say, for a little cruise along the marina. started very lazy this morning so I don't know what that's about. Lee you might need to come out. Because you might have to grab a rope or to stop us. I don't know. I don't know whether you'll be able to. I can't really fucking see where I can't see where I'm even going. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. Far away, from, yeah, but I'm looking at my side. No, I don't have You want this one, Lee? This one. I'll just move it over. There we are then. I'm going to get the front stop that coming out. <laughs> well, that's quite a rude awakening, wasn't it, Lee? <laughs> yes. Phone call at 10 to 9, bring your boat down for the inverter. <laughs> Well, I got a phone call at half eight to say the Zumba wasn't on, so it was just as well, really. It was really, and it's a good day for him to be doing it because there ain't loads of beer under the stairs. <laughs> so it's this end of beer week, isn't it? So we're going to Booker's now. We're going to the tip to get rid of a chair, a couple of chairs. We're going to the Manor, we're going to Booker's, and uh, then who knows. <laughs> but this is, I just know I just know there's going to be issues with doing this inverter charge thing. I can just feel it in my blood. Because nothing's been going that great, has it? No. <laughs> Right then, so where are we at with the inverter charger thingy doodah? There it is, you can't really see a lot, but what it actually is, is a multi plus two, it's for a 12 volt system, it's 3000 VA, so it's 3000, it, it makes it sound like it's three kilowatts, but it's not really, it's two five or something like that, uh, with a 120 amp charger, so that's mental. So it's not fitted properly, it's just been put into place, it still needs wiring. 
had an extra RCD here. So it's going to go from that to that to that, and then back to the electrics somehow. Of course, we've obviously had to um, move everything out, and there's nothing under the stairs, and there's loads of other shit. But look where it is. <laughs> it's on our bed still. I don't know how we're going to bed. Where are we going to sleep? I don't know. It's all too much. Let me tell you, Bart. We've got the day bed out, haven't we, Hector? And Hector's already in there. So we're going to sleep in the living room today. Or the saloon, I say. Say bye, Hector. Yeah, you don't give a shit, do you? <laughs> so she's going back in the tunnel tomorrow, by the way, to be finished off. Hopefully it'll just be the rest of the day tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning everyone and happy Fridays. Oh, it's a bit windy out here today I'm going to get the boat in the tunnel so yes back down the tunnel today first thing to do is see if we can start her. She was very lazy yesterday so we'll see what happens. Yeah no problem. Good good. Now start doing the ropes turn the electric off and all that sort of stuff in fact I'll turn the electric off now and I'll see you when we're on, the, when we're on our way, bye. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's a bit of a traffic jam. I'm having to wait for other boats at the moment. I'll just let Graham go. So, um, I'm not sure what I told you. I sorted my car out last night. I put all the call packs in. There's one that wouldn't come out, so I'll have to sort that, but it is all working. Don't know whether I said that already. Can't remember what happens from one day to the next, you know. But, I don't know, I can go now. So let's go, I suppose. Let's just go into the tunnel, bye. Well, I suppose a little, um, Inverter charger thing you do our update is um, applicable, is it not? I obviously haven't been covering it too much because uh, I'm not going to stick a camera in the work people's faces or anything like that, obviously. But now they're at lunch, I'll show you what's been going down. And we've got some nice meaty cabling on the batteries now, let me tell you. So, as I said, I know this inverter and charger thing is way overkill for us, but you know, who cares? Let's have a little looky down below. I can see we're actually going to have five batteries again. Um, so we have now got a starter, which we didn't seem to have before. And uh, the red cables were over there. He started taking it apart again, unfortunately, because I asked for something different, because I'm a pain in the ass. But no, we're getting there. Bye. Well, it's just after five. And we're back in the berth again, just about. And blooming windy getting in here today, I'll tell you. So um, we're still not quite done with the charger inverter. We're, we're close. But um, I've been able to sort out in there, so at least uh, there's some sort of semblance of normality back in there, so we can sleep in our own bed tonight. Um, it's just some fuses and stuff we have to do under there. I say we, I should say Ian. And uh, as long as we can get to the switch with the inverter, which we can, uh, then it's all good. So we're now on pass-through with the electric. So although the charge is on, it's not connected to a battery, but it allows a pass-through so we can get the 240 volt this evening, because obviously... Um, we don't want the freezer defrosting as we haven't got solar or anything attached we've got no charge to the batteries or anything so um yeah we are getting there i'll be pleased it's going to cost a fortune i'm glad i i was kind of witnessing it because i must admit it has been a nightmare job and we've now actually got a starter battery as well so we've got a starter battery and four leisures so that's better um you do actually need quite a lot of ampage to run the inverter that we've got here, see if, if you're going to allow it to peak at two and a half or 2.5k kilowatts. So um, yes, certainly overkill for this boat and the amount of solar we got, but it's an investment for the future. That's why I see it because we are going to add some more solar. We're working out a way of um, plugging in the Jackery panels temporarily into the system. So we're working that one out. I, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. Um, and then some stick-on panels on our roof box and we're going to redo that whole thing out of aluminium so that might be covered in solar um, and that should give us pretty much the killer what we're after so um, in, in fact with the with the three jackeries we'll probably have about 1200 watts so 1.2 kilowatt of solar so that should see us through so that's where we're at with it i mean i don't understand all the jargon with it uh, you know other people do but and they they did sort of laugh when i said i wanted that big inverter and they said well, if you're pulling that you're going to kill everything i said well i said i know that it's not about that because the way i was looking at it is our old one we had a 1600 watt one 1 1.6 kilowatt and it's uh, the uh bloody what do you mean call it sterling 
and it used to just beep at us all the time and whir and make awful noises. So I thought, well, if we get one well over capacity, it won't overheat, it won't do, it won't do nothing. It'll be, it, it's got loads of headroom, that's what I'm saying. It's almost like, when you, you know when you buy a, a hi-fi, is that an old word now, a hi-fi, a stereo system, in olden days, when you bought something that was a thousand watts, I mean a thousand watts RMS, proper thousand watts, you would never run it at a thousand watts. You'd run it at probably two or three hundred watts max. It's like we used to do with our PA with the band, um, but it gives you a richer sound and it, and it um, keeps it warm and nice and it gives you loads of headrooms for peaks. So that's kind of it's a similar sort of thing. So that's why we've done it. And plus, if we were to sell Hannah in the next four or five years, we would probably take that inverter with us. So if the boat that we're buying didn't have a good system. So as I say, an investment for the future with the price of electric and all that, we want to be using um, solar as much as possible because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. So um, yeah, we've got loads of solar shit as well. We could just, my mum bought us a lovely solar lantern for camping. And my God, is that awesome. I never, never realized it's so good. I had a little play with it last night and it's so bright. And, and, and if you have it on the lower setting, it will last something like 50 hours. So that just give you enough light to, to, you know, to kind of move around in the tent if you wanted to. So that's good, isn't it? That's on a single charge. And if you did run out of charge, you can put some batteries in it anyway. So, and, it's, and it charges from solar too. So yeah, that's good. So we're definitely going down the solar route. Um, I still don't think solar farms are the way to go, but we're not gonna get into the climate change thing on this vlog. We'll save that for another one, because that's all bollocks. Um, but for trying to be self-sufficient to be as, as much off-grid as you possibly can, I don't think it's a bad idea for boaters. You can kind of normally tell liverboard boaters because they have solar. <laughs> anyway, that's my little catch up and it's definitely got to be a dilly dilly because I'm knackered now having trying to put everything back. I've left a few bits out. I think oh, Lee only knows where they go. So that <laughs> can worry tomorrow. So yeah, so we're going back in the tunnel tomorrow just to finish, probably be two or three hours in there and then all done. So that's no problem. Anyway, and I have to say just before I do go, that Ian, who's been doing this boat, I can't fault the fella. Absolutely lovely bloke anyway. I, kn I knew that anyway. He's a nice bloke. But he's, his work ethic, I think, it's, it's, I think it's our generation, isn't it? Our generation a little bit above. They have a work eth ethic, whereas people in their... I'm not being horrible. People in their 20s and 30s don't seem to have the same sort of work ethic. I think customer service has disappeared. And people don't seem to want to really help or go out of the way to help anymore. And um, it's nice when you find people especially in this industry, in the boating industry, that do go out of the way to help you. Like Dave is here when he's doing all the back deck. And I'm sure Graham's the same. I haven't had much to do with Graham, but Graham seems a nice bloke as well when it comes to all this sort of stuff. And of course, Paul. All of the crew down there seem okay. So, but yeah, special call out obviously to Dave and uh, Ian. Top blokes. Because we've obviously had uh, proper experience with those two fellas. So yeah, if you ever do need work on your boat <laughs> and you're at Gayton, I'd say ask for them. Anyway, that's it. We've caught up. Dilly dilly. I haven't even opened it yet, look. It's, it is cold enough, because we haven't had the fridge all day, remember? But, but it was on this morning, so obviously, well, you know, it was. I didn't open it. So um, everything stayed cold enough. I'll just check. I'll just have to check. Just let me put the uh, thingy down here. Oh, look at that. That's, oh, look at the darkness. It does look like it's going to rain, to be fair. But I'm still going to have a dilly dilly outside. Oops, a daisy. And I do believe we've got Chinese tonight. So at least we've got a table back, because that was on the bed as well, protecting it from the microwave and the ninja. <laughs> dilly dilly everyone, happy Fridays. I just had a thought. I thought maybe this would be a little bit antagonistic, make people think a little bit about things. Now, obviously, everyone who follows this channel knows I wasn't into all the old... <laughs> bollocks and I tried to uncover what I could. I've just been uh, looking at my own prescription for the diabetes thing and because you become exempt okay and it's it, to be honest with you it's a bit disgusting because a prescription now is pretty much pretty much near a tenner a time in it so that's quite a lot of money to be honest with you especially if people are on you know six or seven different medications that could be you know 60 70 pound a bloody month it's just terrific but Okay, so that's, that's what got me thinking. And then I started looking into how much the <laughs> each one was and each <laughs> test was. Okay? So, for the... <laughs> it's about a tonner. About 100 quid. That's, 
That's what I've heard. Let's say it's 30 quid. He's, he's having a growl at people who seem to be sitting on a naughty bench. You have absolutely no right to be sitting on a naughty bench. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, yeah, so. A lot of people have had three, four, five jabs. Jubaloo hoos. Okay, let's say 30 quid a time. But let's say 100 pound a time, really. No, let's say 100 pound, because that's what, that, that's what I read it costs. 500 quid, yeah? Three, three to 500 quid. Then each test these idiots were doing, right? 20 quid a pop. Some people had 30 or 40 tests during those two to three years. If you had had to pay for that all yourself, this is a genuine question now. And not aimed at people like me, because we all refused it anyway. But I'm talking about people who did go along with it, who did have bloody multiple jabs, who did have multiple tests. If you had had to pay for all those out of your own pocket, by the way, I'm now paying for your bloody jabs, and I never had one, would you have done it? Shall I tell you what the answer is? Would you bollocks? You would never have gone along with this. You would never have gone along with this. I dare you to think about it. I dare you to come back to me and say, yes, of course I would have paid it. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, let's call it out. Bye. <laughs> I love Fridays. <laughs> and I love calling shit like this out. Bye. I just have to make a quick um, clarification on what I was just talking about with the cost of the old and all that. Look, I wasn't quite right there. I got mixed up. And I like to say when I've, when I've not got it right completely, um, I have to come back to you. I was saying that it was around £100 a shot and all that sort of stuff. Well, there's a lot of conflicting evidence out there saying this, that and the other. But, but, okay, some are saying as low as it, that to produce it, it costs £2.15 and God knows what it costs the NHS and all that lot. But this is what, I'm, what I was really trying to get across, was the individual cost per head, they're saying, this is from the BBC, not from me. The BBC says that it costs £6,000 for every single person in the UK. There you go. So what I'm basically saying is if you had to pay that £6,000, would you have gone along with it? And we know the answer, don't we? So sorry about getting the figures a little bit wrong with the um, jab, although I don't know whether I did because there's so many conflicting stories out there. But the official one out there for the cost per head that has cost the UK is £6,000 per, per, per person. Bye. Sorry about the wind noise, it's anyway wind noise. I only brought my phone out, so uh, I didn't look lovely and green. So I thought we'd come out for a wander while the boat's in the tunnel. Don't want to sit in there all day in the dark. So all that rain we've had has actually made it look fabulous, I say. retriever in the world and Lee you swore on video. Yeah you fucking idiot. What's yeah he said he's gone right fucking past it that's what he said. Yeah. yeah he's lost it again. Not me that's a sweary <laughs> pants, is it? Lee's just as bad as I am, goodness oh me. God! Hector! <laughs> so shit at playing ball. Honestly, <laughs> it really is. It's nowhere near it now. <laughs> and now he expects a treat, don't you, mate? I don't <laughs> think so. You expect a treat for now. I should get a treat for going and flummy again. <laughs> it's your penance for swearing. Maybe we should start a um, vlog couple pound jar for every time we, s we swear. As I'm like the Queen, or oh, well, not dead, but, <laughs> um, and I don't carry any money, then I won't have to pay, I'll be exempt. And with Lee's amount of swear, if we save a pound every time, we'd only have to wait a week, we'll get a, a, a new um, DJI Action 3.
in a week's easy, yeah. That's all right, I'm gonna do you. Yeah. <laughs> happy Sundays everyone we might not be that happy for our charger inverter because that's been flashing like that since it's installed and it hasn't charged the batteries our solar's doing that at the moment so hmm they're coming to look at it let's see bye The mighty hound. The mighty Hector. <laughs> well, it's all sorted, isn't it, Lee? It is. All it was was a sensor <laughs> wired up incorrectly. <laughs> Bloody sensors. So it's just a swap of wires, and uh, it all seems to be okay now. So uh, we're all fully charged, and everything's working. So I'm really quite happy. It's beer o'clock because it's warm. It'd be beer o'clock if it was cold. It would also be beer o'clock if it was being with rain and snowing and thunderstorms and wind. It's the weekend. But it'd still be beer o'clock if it's a weekday. <laughs> it's a why in the day. So because that's how we roll. <laughs> Bye. Well, everybody, look, we're getting set up for some did it al fresco. We're going to cook some gnocchi in here and in this pan here. We're going to be doing some mince, uh, some onions and some peppers and then it's kind of going to be a gnocchi bolognese but kind of, you know, kind of. And then Lex is going to be cooking some South African sausage. So we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, it's been a lovely day. Can't beat a bit of cooking al fresco, can you? Can't beat it at all. Right. I'm not quite sure how to hold this. And you see we've got some onions and some mince in there. I'll just stir them in a minute because I need two pans. And over here we've got some water boiling for the gnocchi. Lay. Yes. <coughs> What's that for barking? I don't know. I forgot to um, video after we ate our gnocchi. A, a gnocchi bolognese box. Was it nice? It was nice, yes. It was, you. wasn't it? Yes, to be fair. Nice for a change. And did you like um, chewing on Lex's um, sausage? Yes, it's very meaty. He's got a nice meaty sausage, isn't he? <laughs> yes. To be fair. Quite beefy. <laughs> and porky. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Anyway. What's that in my life? We've been, we've been playing with different settings of Mollocks today, so. Yeah, um, dude. We haven't been on the cameras and shit, so. It's the wrong way because I haven't. Hello, Hector. Are you mighty? Are you mighty? What do you think? <coughs> mm. See you tomorrow, everyone. <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever. Lee's not said boy either, has he? Oh, she's sorry, just as bad as you, Hector. <laughs> Very nonchalant. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and happy Mondays. I tell you. Happy Mondays. It's a nice day out here, but it's blooming cold. The old breeze is really cold. I think it's only about 12 or 13 degrees, which is ridiculous. It's supposed to be summer, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not quite sure what today's going to bring, apart from saying this is we're coming to the end of this vlog. But today's normally a bit of a slow day for me. It's normally what we call approvals day. So all the work that I did on probably Thursday, Friday, which I was actually quite busy, a lot of that has gone out and then it comes back for approval. Then I send to print. So that's normally what a Monday is for me. Um, not very profitable, but I guess I made the money out of that on Thursday and Friday. That's the way I got to kind of look at that. Um, Lee's gone off to Aston and Finch, as I say, because she's got a VAT free day on her hair stuff. And, and then she's going to Tesco's to buy me some more beer because um, we ran out. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's because there was too much sport on over the weekend and it was sunny. That's my excuse anyway. So yeah, there we go. So I think, yeah, I think we're probably at about 25 minutes or so now. So, and there's something I want to do different on the next vlog. You probably won't know any difference, but I, I want to do something different. So I want to finish this one. So you know what comes now. 
If you've got this far, well done. If you've got this far and haven't subscribed yet, then you're a gobshite, subscribe. If you've got this far and you haven't pressed the bell end button, you're a gobshite, so press it now. If you really like, if you didn't like us, press it twice. <laughs> you know the crack. Love you. See you next time. Bye.